Hello everyone, let me start our presentation. Our topic is related with biology. These days, there are many people suffered from organ damage or part of body loss. Look at this chart. There are many persons waiting organ transplant. However, organ transplant is insufficient. It is very serious problem. So, I prepared a interesting video. Look at this. What do you associate from this video? I think I think you associate a uh, hurt. Yes, it is hurt, but it it is not real hurt. It is artificial hurt made by using tissue engineering. Like this video, if we can make many artificial organs, we can solve the scarce organ transplant. So, today our team introduced tissue engineering. We will cover three points. First point is basic of tissue engineering, second point is method of tissue engineering, third point is application of tissue engineering. We, <coughs> we skip Jayong's part and now I will tell you several methods of tissue engineering and process of it. At first, general method. It is the scaffold based tissue engineering. Maybe you can remember what is scaffold that explained before. Generally, tissue engineering needs scaffold. This is the process of tissue engineering. First, we biopsy and get served from patient. Next, uh, and next, uh, we uh, cell cultivation. In this process, we can make many cells from one cell and repeat it. And after we get cell enough, we can make ma tissue by attaching these cells and make them grow on scaffold. It is simple process. But in this method, there are some additional requirements for scaffold. First, biodegradability. Maybe you can guess the meaning of this word, biodegradability. Bio in biotic condition, degradability can be degraded. That is, scaffold should be degraded in body. Because scaffold, scaffold is not, uh, it's just scaffold, scaffold is not cell. So like this picture, scaffold should be degraded Degrade after tissue formed. You can, oh. Oh. you can see and easily understand degradability of scaffold in this picture. It is a scaffold and it becomes gradually smaller as time goes on. Next requirement, function as a vasculature. Vasculature means blood vessel network. Because in this method, one tissue is formed by one type of cell, we can't make a complex structure. It means that we can't make blood vessel because it is complex stru structure. So, scaffold should function as a blood vessel network, vasculature. This and this picture is tissue that have scaffold vasculature. The red part is blood vessel made by scaffold. Blood vessel is the space that made by disappearance of scaffold. And the and there exists another me other method. It is advanced method of tissue engineering. In this method, we use scaffold made with cell. Picture shows that how we make scaffold with cell. First, we make the shell, and there are some cells in shells. And it become more compact by cell divisions. After shell become fully compact, we remove shell and we can get cell fiber. And we can make organ by weave this scaffold. It is similar with making sweater. We weave wool to make sweater, and in the tissue engineering, we weave cell fiber, cell fiber scaffold to make organ. By this process, we can make more complex organ, like this. It is the heart that made by mes this method. You can see it. It is composed by fibers. And the last method that we will introduce is bio 3D printing. It is very interesting method because it doesn't need scaffold. Because we directly use cell as a ink, like this picture. We print each layer with cell and stack the each layer to make three dimensional structure. We can make complex organ with this method too. First, print the basic structure like this and aggregate them to make various shapes of tissue. 
Finally, aggregate again to make organ. With this process, we can make more complex organ and make them more rapidly with this method. Now, Gonsok will tell you about application of tissue engineering. I will introduce application of tissue engineering. Let's think drug screening process. First, drug is formulated, then lab testing is proceed, then animal testing is proceed, then cl clinical trials is proceed. Finally, this drug can go to market. It costs a lot of money, a lot of time. Sometimes, when a drug is sold in the market, unpredictable side effect is found, then it can be very serious, serious problem. Cause, uh, cause of this problem are two points. First, hu humans, uh, humans are different fo uh, from less in the lab. Second, humans are different from uh, each other. Some people seem similar, but tiny differences make huge impa impact. For example, how we metabolize drugs and how does drugs affect us. So, a model which reflects diversity of humans is needed. So, application of tissue engineering solves this problem. Its name is induced pluripotent stem cell. It is developed in Japan recently by adding a few genes to skin cell and culturing them, we can harvest them. So this cell has two advantages. First, it doesn't have any ethical problem. Second, using this cell, we can we can make any organ like liver, heart, and brain. Uh, this picture is bioreactor which make induced fluoripotent potent stem cell. This device can make this stem cell more methodical. There is another application of it. It can make uh, it can make model of disease. Uh, look at this picture. It is nerve cell made by induced pluripotent stem cell from patients suffered from Lugaric disease. So by making disease model, we can find the solution of the disease. Now in this engineering, uh, entire ecosystem of body is being developed. Organs affect each other. If this model is developed by tissue engineering, it can help bio. It can help biotechnology. Uh, in conclusion, until now, our team present problem of scarce organ transplant, what tissue engineering is, method of tissue engineer engineering, and application of tissue engineering. Tissue engi engineering is the field in development. I hope tissue engineering will be more developed and able to help many humans in the future. Uh, thank you for listening our presentation.